Hello, my name is Jonathan Harris from Worldwide Camera Exchange. Leica M6, beautiful mechanical rangefinder film based cameras, absolutely fantastic. But some people find the metering a little bit fickle. Um, if you don't understand how the metering works, if you don't get your mind around how the metering changes or how the metering can change, you can find that you get fairly erratic exposures. Now, there are two things to bear in mind with this camera that you certainly don't experience if you're using an SLR. One is that as you change the lens, the metering area changes. And the second thing is that as you, as you change the, the focusing, as you focus from infinity down to near focus, the metering area moves. Now that does sound strange to many people that are used, used to SLRs, but the, the fundamental reason is that it's a rangefinder camera. So you're not, you're, not, you're not seeing what the lens sees. The lens sees through that, obviously, the lens. As the viewer, you're looking through that, the rangefinder. So you're, you're, you're at, all, at all times seeing something slightly different. Now, at infinity, the distance between those two, those two points is quite small, so it makes very, very little di um, difference at all. But as you, clo as, you, as you get closer, as you get closer up to sort of two meters, up to one meter, that error becomes more and more apparent. Now, to get around that, the camera has something called Parallax correction. Now, all, all, all this is nothing, no, nothing, nothing specific to Leica. All cameras that are rangefinders will have parallax correction. So as you, as, as you focus the lens closer like that, there's a mechanism within the lens, in, within the viewfinder rather, which just shifts the um, the bright line frames that you're using to compose across across the field of view. So the the, the parallax error is automatically corrected as you shift those frames, the metering, which is, is, is fundamentally in the center of the, um, of the field of view of the frame you see, that shifts as well. So, so tip number one is as if you're metering, always focus first, because if you focus first, particularly at closer distances, you can know that you can know exactly where the metering spot is within the viewfinder. Now, second, second tip is a bit more complicated. If I take the lens off, and I wind the camera on, you'll see the focusing, the little white dot on the, um, on the shutter blind. The camera has to be wound on for the metering to work because only when it is wound on do you get that little white dot. The metering cell itself is, 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 in, a, is in the top of the, um, just in the top of the, the body cavity just there. And there's a little, little eye which looks down at that white dot and measures the, the uh, light reflecting from that white dot. Now, as you'll see, if you look at that white dot, vertically, the white dot occupies about half of the, um, of the total area, if you're looking vertically. So when you, look through the, um, when you look through the camera like this and you see the bright line frames within the viewfinder, which give you your field of view, right, it, it, the, the meter is, is, is measuring in a circular way, roughly halfway halfway across the vertical of the of the frame but that changes from lens to lens what i'm going to do now is just put up a put up a diagram which which shows which shows what happens okay so having a look at this um having a look at this diagram if you look first of all uh, bottom right you'll see you'll see the the 28 mil field of view and as I, as I said, you can see you can see the bright line frame, the 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 the, the, the black lines around the uh, around the outside, which give you the twenty eight mil field of view. The grey circle in the middle is the metering area, and as I said, it, it roughly it roughly occupies half, perhaps three quarters of the vertical distance. So you'll see it's circular and covers roughly half of what the lens can see vertically. Now, if you look to the other extreme, if you look to the 135 top left, you'll see this, the smaller frame in the center is the 135 frame. So what you're seeing through the viewfinder doesn't change. But when you change the lens, the, the bright line frame, which in these pictures is shown as, a, as, a, as a, a black lines, the bright line frames change. And in the case of the... Um, in the case of the 135, you can see it's quite a small area within the overall frame. So within, within that area, it, it's still, the metering circle is still about half of the vertical distance of what the lens is seeing. But overall, 
if you look. It's almost become spot metering when you look through viewfinder overall. And if you look from the 28 to the 35 to the 50 to the 90 to the 75 to the 135, as you're looking through the viewfinder, that metering area actually gets smaller and smaller. Okay, so what does that mean in practice? Well, obviously, as, as you change lenses, you just have to bear in mind that the, the area meter that you can see within the whole viewfinder frame does change. Not so much of an issue for the wide angles, but if you're using a 90 or a 135, you're almost getting down to, to a sort of world of spot metering. So if you point that little, that little metering area towards something that's white or something that's black, you're going to have to adjust, adjust the exposure, plus or minus one and a half stops, two stops, just to make, just to, um, just to, uh, just to uh, adjust, because obviously all meters are adjusted to 18% gray. So whatever the meter looks at, it assumes it's 18% gray. So do, do bear that in mind when you're, when you're metering with these cameras. And as I said at the beginning, once you get your mind around how this works, it really is very, very straightforward. So quickly in summary, just, just bear in mind two things. First of all, focus first. If you focus first, your parallax correction will be will be right, and you'll know that you'll be metering in the in in these in the central section of the overall frame correctly. Secondly, when you change your lenses, just bear in mind that your your metering area changes too, and particularly with the telephotos, just bear in mind that you are getting a much much smaller measurement area as you look through the viewfinder. So be, be more aware of whites and blacks and do try to focus a bit more on the mid grays just to get yourself an accurate, an accurate reading. I hope that's been useful. If you have any comments, please um, stick them in the comments boxes below. Otherwise, please like and subscribe and I hope to see you again soon. Thank you. Bye bye.